But what really binds us together, I think, more than anything, is that we're not only representing educational institutions, but also the Adirondack communities in which we all live, work, and play. I guess I just never really realized that there were so many concerned and excited people within the Adirondacks. More students should get involved because we're the future. Last November, the Wild Center held a conference where I was one in four students from uh, one of four students from Lake Placid to attend, and about one of ten students overall to attend. Um, the conference was really amazing. It sparked ideas in all the youth who attended, and we went back to Lake Placid and started a whole bunch of projects. Um, so I wanted uh, every student to have a chance to experience what I did last year. We are the southmost place. As I said, where the Arctic tops of mountains, where the moose and the marten, where 20 or so boreal birds occur. Quick translation, we are the front lines of the war uh, against northern climate change. It is where it is going to come home first and fast. The big story now is a regional climate prediction. And there's some really clever ways to do this because the computers aren't big enough to do it on a fine enough scale to get the details of what are going, going on regionally for the whole globe. So um, I encourage you to think of it both as an exercise in helping your school, but also in helping the rest of society moving forward over this transition over the next, you know, 5, 10, 20 years. We are the ones that have the power to do something about this. It's about justice because other species which are going to become extinct if we do not act, have no, have no voice in our process. And future generations have no voice in our process. We must, we must give them a voice in this process right now. The bigger group is going to have more power to have the ideas push forward and going to have a bigger weight than just a few students. It's scary that it pushes you to do something about it, which I think is really good. And how are you going to share your experience and what you've learned about the Youth Summit with your school? I keep coming back to this number because it really blows me away that, the, that, the, that you all here today represent 25,000 students at the 28 high schools and colleges that are represented. Well, we don't have a very good recycling program right now, so we'd like to start separating our waste um, between paper, cans and bottles, and then regular trash. We've already calculated our school's carbon footprint and we've discovered that um, our school is wasting most of our energy because of all the electricity we're using. Um, we currently have uh, paper and plastic bottle recycling, but we're kind of skeptical of if, it acts, if it's actually being recycled. So we're going to investigate where everything's going. Our school wants to do a couple of steps. Um, our first is to figure out our greenhouse gas inventory. The next step is this. Uh, go back now, make those phone calls, have those meetings we've been talking about the next two weeks, the, the last two days. And uh, I think the next few weeks and months, I think we really are going to kind of make good on the goals that we've set today. I think that's the most important thing. We are the future of tomorrow and soon we'll have the voice and the power to make the choices. But the most important thing that we can do and that we plan to do is uh, educate people and get everyone more excited because it doesn't matter how many great ideas you have if nobody cares then nothing's going to get done. My aha moment was when I discovered that you know I'm not alone and that when we all band together that this can really be possible.